Hi, this is Neil Kumar from Import Classes. In this video, I will discuss supervised versus unsupervised methods. These two methods are ways to classify a data science problem, and this classification is often the first step in the data mining process. A data science problem is considered supervised when a specific target is defined and the purpose is clear. Supervised methods require labeled data so that the model can learn and predict from such data. Labeled data is essentially data that has meaningful tags and can be put into classes. In data science, investing in data is a key component of the process, and such investment could be in the form of buying the data from external third parties or building in-house infrastructure that allows the company to start collecting the data internally. Both methods obviously require costs or, or in incur costs for the company. Generally speaking, the results of supervised me methods are considered more useful than unsupervised methods because the supervised methods have predictive capabilities. The two main subclasses of supervised methods are regressions and classifications. Regressions lead to numerical outputs, while classifications lead to categorical outputs. An example of a supervised data science problem is the following. Which groups of customers have a high likelihood of purchasing the product given a specific marketing campaign? This question could be answered via a segmentation task and will help the company determine is if exactly how effective its marketing promotion actually is. Shifting gears, a data science problem is unsupervised when no specific target or purpose is defined. The data that's used for unsupervised methods is unlabeled, which means that they do not have meaningful tags and are not put into classes. The most common task in unsupervised methods is what we call clustering. The, the main goal of unsupervised methods is really to get one's hands dirty. In other words, one will explore and learn from the data with the full knowledge that there would that there's no guarantee that such exploration will lead to any meaningful conclusions. An example of a data unsupervised data science problem is the following. Which groups of customers are most similar? This question could be answered via a clustering task and could help the company determine which products to offer customers taking into consideration the similarities among them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this brief introduction into supervised versus unsupervised methods. Please stay tuned as we will be posting additional data science videos. And many thanks for watching and take care.